Hi crafters! I'm sorry that I don't sound very cheery today, but I have a massive headache. Uh, I think I've just been too stressed with all the things I need to do. And uh, But first I'd like to apologize that I didn't respond to almost everyone yesterday on the comments. Trust me, I've read them, but <laughs> I'm not sure how to do it all in a day. <laughs> But trust me, I'm honored. You guys are amazing. Um, you make me feel like I'm, a, I'm worth a million dollars. And the only thing I can say is thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your nice comments. I honestly mean that. Yesterday in my video I showed you the two uh, butterfly rosette dies and I thought it would be nice because it was also a new trial in uh, not doing the st stitch lines but the fold lines and what I did I used my thinnest paper that I had in order for me to see how well they would emboss if I didn't use an embossing um, Mat, I I think you guys call it a mat. It looks like the one I have looks like this, and um, I didn't use one. I only have this one, but I didn't use it because I wanted to be sure that the embossing lines were clear and were um, uh, good on the die like this, and. If you can see, I hope the camera will pick it, pick it up, but you can see them very clearly. I just ran it through once through my machine and they work perfectly. Um, I put the bigger one I put together and although the dies look very big, the, the butterfly isn't very big at all and it looks like this. You can put the wings more higher or lower however you want the butterfly to look you can use it and I will keep it like this so you have an idea on how big it, it, it is and I can try to measure it but I, then I have to p pick my ruler with my other hand but it's almost three and a half inches and in centimeters and I apologize that I sometimes forget to do both measurements. Uh, it's about 9 centimeters. And uh, the smaller one, uh, the tip I want to give you guys is if you fold the first one with a mountain fold, make sure that you do the other one with a valley fold. So this one I put the first one up, so this one I will put the first one down. This way you can glue them together the best way, else you are fiddling around and you see I don't have to do any effort for the paper to fold. So I think this factory did a brilliant job on making these butterfly uh, rosette dies. You know I'm always honest in my videos, even if it are my own designs, I like to have a uh, I like you guys to have um, an honest review even if it concerns my own designs. I think um, we all need to work very hard for our money and um, I, I think it's nice to be fair. And this one is slightly smaller than 6 centimeters, and that's I believe 2 and a, two and a quarter inch. So that's the different difference between the small and the big one. And I like the small one a lot because I'm a card maker and I like uh, smaller things. But I know a lot of you like the bigger ones. So I thought I would die cut them both. So and now for the other thing I wanted to show you is how to put together the coffee cup and the holder and the sleeves. And I will tell you all about it. I'm going to prepare myself. You can buy two sets. And yesterday there were some comments about can sellers make copies of print screens. Um, that's harder than a picture. A picture normally gives a lot of contrast. 
and I know all about it and I know what I said but trust me um, in a video it's not that bad and normally they can't make a good sample from a uh, standing still image from a video because the contrast is not big enough to make it. Um, if you will get the dye you will notice that it's a little bit curved. Don't worry about it. Um, because the inside is, is uh, solid and the outsides are open because you guys asked me to keep in all the design paper layers um, the dye after die cutting will become a little bit curved that's not a problem trust me that is not a problem it looks a little bit funny but it runs through perfectly because I've ran it through my machine and look how nice it die cuts the piece out so don't worry about that it's a little bit curved if you put it on a magnum it will um, make itself straight again so don't worry about it then in the same set you will get two of these and you have to die cut this one two times and the inner layer is for your designer paper like you all like to have your design paper layers these are two for your design paper layers this one also and also this one and this one you have to do out of your base layer then you can buy a second set for to dress up the cup or you can buy them both of, or uh, only the sleeve set whatever you like and whatever you like to do or buy or use you know I always like you to enjoy the things you make and that's more important for me than you have to have all my designs in there is a sleeve in there is a belly band and in there are two of these Rosetta kind of um, circles I will put these away and I die cut it all the parts and I will make um, a clear vision for you where the parts uh, need to go what I did I die cut the sleeve and I die cut the belly band out of white and I die cut it another belly band out of designer paper I wanted to have a layer on my belly band so um, what I do is I just take my scissors and I cut on the score line you don't have to do this you can just uh, use one layer of paper but I like the lace edge sticking out of my design paper layer so I do this extra effort uh, to show you guys that you can make a layer on top of your belly band and for the sake of the video I'm trying to hurry up and if you're bored you just fast forward as I say always you don't have to sit there and watch me uh, cut this strip off but some people do enjoy it so I try to make everybody happy although I know that's virtually not possible <laughs> and then you just take your glue you can take all kinds of glue people ask me what kind of glue I have in my bottle and I always use Tombow Tombow liquid glue I like that glue the best everybody has his preference and it's perfectly fine but my preference is the Tombow glue and then I glue the belly band on top of the other of the base press it down so it has time to stick and what I think is more um, or the, the best way to do it but I'm always a little bit hesitate to say this is the best way then I put some glue on this layer and this way I can perfectly align my belly band with my cup see now I notice that I need to do it a little bit higher in order for it to perfectly fit on my is it straight now? no I don't want to be in focus with my big head so 
I have to do it on a distance. So hopefully this looks nice. <laughs> so then in order for this to dry, I will take the lid off my cup. In the um, video description from yesterday, I put in the link where you can find the cups and the lids where I bought them. So if you want those links, please visit the video I did yesterday. And for the um, uh, rosettes, let me call them rosettes because I don't know any better word at this point. When you die cut them, you will notice that they are attached to each other. The only thing you have to do is take your scissors and do a little snip. I told this many times before in my videos, but I will tell it for my new subscribers. They can't make uh, the... Um, uh, cutting edge all the way to the scalloped edge it's it's technically not pro possible so that's the only thing you have to do with both of the dies but it's trust me it's not a lot of work then what you do is you take this and you fold them over not bend them 90 degrees but just fold them over don't use a lot of pressure and what you can do, if you like, you can glue the points to each other. I didn't do that. What I did is just put this one on top and used some hot glue. So a little bit of hot glue. and Or you can use tape. If your hot glue gun is standing on a too hot uh, temperature, uh, you take the risk that your lid will melt. So then you can take um, some tape, double sided tape. And this one you can put on top with hot glue because then you are gluing paper to paper. And I think it makes the lid look really nice. And after I glued it like this, then I put some tape on the edges and glued it shut. Um, how do you say that? Against the lid. I will show it to you. See, mine is against the lid. And I did it with hot glue, but my gun is not so hot. So for me, it was possible to do. So now the sleeve is dried. What I like to do is I like to give it a curve with my fingers first. Before I try to do my best and attach it to my cup. Then the paper is already a little bit bent and I think that helps you not struggle as hard. Then you can take a piece of tape and I like to glue it against the cup but you can make it as a sleeve so they can take it off. It's however you prefer to do it. So then I will take off the backing. And what I do, I start with the edge of my sleeve at the edge of the cup because then I know that I will be gluing it on in a straight way. See, and then I'm almost there and the last piece will try to bend back but if you take a little bit of tape on the last or no on the end piece so sorry that I sometimes use the wrong word guys trust me I try to do my best See, I think I just don't have my day today. <laughs> and then you can fold it over and it fits perfectly. Then you know that you have all those back sides on the back side. And of course you can do your belly band in a later state and then it looks way nicer than I did mine now. But it's however you like to do it yourself. You can dress it up with a bow, you can dress it up with a phrase, however you want to do it and then it will look like this and of course these will be bent down a little bit more but I think it looks lovely 
and I hope you guys do too, of course. So this is the cup. When you did the cup, then you have all the parts to make the um, holder. In this first file you will find two score lines and one is a decorative score line and one is a score line you need to use to uh, bend your paper. I on purposely did not bend it yet so you can see that it's very easy to do. If you take your time it will bend on the right spot and you will see that now it doesn't bend on the right spot. <laughs> Oh my headache, oh, 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 I'm sorry that I'm not so cheerful today guys, I'm so sorry. I tried to do my best and not let you guys know that my head is hurting like crazy. I just took some pills in the hope that it will go down my headache. But I think the last few days were too much pressure. All the sellers that asked me to do new designs and all the questions from you guys. And uh, I needed to make posts on Instagram. And there is so much to do in a day. And not that I'm complaining because I love what I do. Trust me. I, I honestly love what I do. And it's all because you guys make me feel like a million dollars. Really. And then you will take off the backing and what I like to do is first put this part onto the side. Then take off the backings of this layer. And I think if you see my uh, video uh, will be dark it's because my cat is blocking the light from my window. She is looking outside because this morning we had visits from a lot of birds and yeah, cats just love birds. <laughs> so then you take off all your backings, come on, work with me. And then one by one glue them down. Take your time because the more time you take the nicer it will look. That's the best advice I can give you guys. So, and then you will see that it fits perfectly. And then you take off the last backing. On the little tiny edge. Flip it under the base. And make it closed like this. And then I have a tip. Because you will all understand that now we have to put on the bottom piece like this. And I will always like to do it like this so you can see the structure of the paper on the inside. But you can also do it like this so you have the bad side on the inside. And when you die cut your design paper layer, save this circle. Because this circle you can put in the middle so when you attach this part to the other part, when people look inside they see the same color as you used on your cup. And I think that's, I like those details. When people think of those details I like that a lot. What you can also do is die cut um, this layer two times. If you, if you want to have it all covered then you can die cut this layer two times and put it on top. But then you will have the risk that it looks a little bit open on the bottom. So it's up to you how you want to do it. I will tape it with a piece of tape so you have an idea on how it looks when I've attached it. And I hope those back layers <laughs> will not give me such a hard time now. I don't have any nails and that's the, the biggest issue and normally I use tweezers to get them off but then I'm afraid that I don't bring it uh, in a good way on the video or show it in a good way on the video. See I have a lot to learn in English. <laughs> 
so and then you can close it up and I will not bore you with this side but you will understand that you have to close it like this see and then when you look on the top side inside then you can see that it looks a little bit less plain on the inside then there is this layer you can use on top of your um, holder and of course all the side layers sorry this one is for here uh, no this is the longer one sorry this is the one for on the front of your box this is the one from the back side of your box and the two side pieces are also in there and I hope this helps you guys to know how to put it together and for this layer uh, this is the bottom layer you, as I told you have to die cut it twice and then this is your design paper layer that fits perfectly on top and when you put it on top you can attach it to the back side and what I did with mine I partially die cut it the back layer and then I shifted my die uh, downwards I will see if I can find the die uh, I partially die cut it and how do you partially die cut it's not complicated but I will show you how you do it the first time you die cut it you take your plates for the people who doesn't know oh sorry I have it upside down like this oh. and then what you do if you want to partially die cut it and make it longer you put it on your plate like this and put your top plate not all the way to the end so like this when you die cut it then it will be still attached to the main piece of your project then you shift it downwards and then you turn over because now it's still attached here then you turn it over just the other way around and then you do the same thing but then like this and then you have made your back layer a lot longer so I hope these tips all help you in putting uh, the cutting die together and as you see it will fit perfectly and snug inside of your holder oh yeah okay I didn't attach these and it will not fall out and I like uh, die cutting sets that are like this that you have a perfect design I wish you all a nice day thank you for watching um, if you have any questions just let me know when my headache will be over I'm happy to answer them for you um, thank you for watching Bye-bye.